Okay, we're here at a secondhand store called Combo. Yeah, so we're gonna take a look around. I guess these plants aren't secondhand, but they've got all kinds of stuff. Looks really interesting. Huge variety, wow. Really uh, interesting. So let's go inside and take a look. Okay, we're inside here and it is big. Lots of, starts with some cleaning process. Ale means sale and finish. It's like a whole wall of hair dye here. All kinds of interesting stuff. And you can see it goes way down there, way over there. Lots of foods, plates. It's like practically anything you could want. So let's take, let's go a little further. Yeah, some ornamental things, more ornamentals. Look at some of the prices just to get an idea. So this uh, elephant with a zebra and a tiger is nine euros and 95 cents. So that's about 14 bucks Canadian. Here's a uh, good looking Buddha with no price on it. Yeah, there it is, 16.95. So that's like, I'm guessing about $22 or something like that. Yeah, and there's some discounted stuff here too. 20% off for these uh, picture frames. And let's get out of this section. Like, I'm carrying carry-on only, so there's no way I'm gonna buy some trinkets or knickknacks. It's gonna be like some food or some clothes. Oh, socks. I could use some socks. Let's see. Oh. Socks, lots of socks, like lots of socks. I'm gonna go find my crew and turn this camera back on in a minute. Okay, moved on to the rug section, which is interesting that you can get these pretty big rugs. So let's take a look here. Yeah, they have different dimensions. So that one, let's see here. This is a good looking rug. 69 euros 99 but this one slut means gone or lopu 149 euros but i'm not sure what this is i'm not good at centimeters i'm more of like a canadian foot and inch the kind of thing so a kid's mat 69 euros yeah i'd say that's a little much that's like a hundred dollars for this round little mat i wouldn't buy that no way but I'll take a bigger look around on the walls here. Yeah, all right, we're gonna go down this other aisle and just see, cause I think it heads to the snacks, which is more what I'm interested in. There's some clothes over here though. All right, let's take a look at the clothes. People rummaging around, trying to find something nice. 40% ah, off here. I'd say these are these <laughs> CDs and so on. I don't think people are are interested in that much. John Edwards, isn't that the... Yeah, that's not the same psychic John Edwards, but of course there's like tons of people with that name. They'd have to be, right? All right, let's keep on going. Some books, some more 60% off, 50% off. Everything's going crazy. Oh, some funny shirts. All right, I'm gonna put the camera away and start rummaging around myself and see what I can find. I found some Pringles. I thought I'd show these. Yeah, so there's like the same flavors, you know. Paprika, I don't remember seeing that in North America. Medium sweet chili, sizzling extra hot, original cheese and onion. I'm not sure if we have that, hot and spicy. More paprika, medium sizzling kick sour cream. Uh-huh, more paprika, it's like, yeah, so 295, which is like four bucks for some Pringles. They are like, I believe just a North American produced chip, so I'm not sure if, uh, I mean, that's not a good price in Canada. That's like actually a terrible price for 
four bucks for some Pringles, but yeah, this is a discount store, so maybe that's a really good price. Not sure. It's like one one euro thirty nine cents for these, like a whole bunch of different candies. Just quite common to have yourself a bag of candy. Same price up there, and all these things. Yeah, kryptoniter, kryptoniter, dragster, watermelon. They're like, yeah, cool ba balar skalle. So a lot of them have Swedish names and Finnish names. Finny jelly sharks, filiduter. These are like salty, not sure what. Hmm. Anyways, yeah, here's some of the candies. All right, well, let's go back and look at the clothes. Look at this DVD, Ben Affleck, Samuel D Jackson, Baha Thaiva, Bad Day. Not sure uh, if it's actually called Bad Day in English, but that's what, <laughs> that's what it translates to in English. All right, we're on the other side here and some of the shelves are empty. I think it's just like outlet stuff, like over uh, stock outlet stuff, but it's fine practically anything here. Look at this globe. Let's see what it is. 19.95 euro, so 20 bucks. That's like $28 Canadian or something like that. I guess that's reasonable. It's like a, a piece to put on your coffee table. So it's like 50% off. So these would be like five euros. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think that's like a candle holder or something like that. Some more clothes. Some other like, it's just like candles mixed up with some books. Some pants, jeans, yep. Oh. And tons of wool. Okay, let's look somewhere else. Okay, so we're sort of in the back of the store here, but there's like ladles for the sauna. 21.95 for this one here. Really, really nice actually. So I'm sure you know, but if you don't, uh, sauna, you need to throw water on the rocks. There's one for 30 euros, so that's about 40 bucks, but it's fancy if you have that in your sauna, yeah. There's all these hooks and such. Yeah, R really weird section here with uh, lots of metal and, and things like that. So yeah, the, uh, the variety continues. Just to show more of the variety here, there's like some sort of evil spider thing, 30 euros. But then over here, there's like a cassette tape. Like, seriously, I haven't seen one of these in a long time. One euro. Some old soccer glasses, Messi, Pepsi, and stuff like that. And then there's like some, like, literally a, a weapon. This is like, yeah, this is, <laughs> it's definitely a weapon of sorts. 20 euros for that. So, yeah, and then this battle axe is 40 euros. <laughs> and then, hey, who needs some pens beside the battle axe? Yeah, it's like you really, you can't predict what you're going to see on the shelves. That's like a foot massager, I think see how much that is uh, five euros yeah you put your feet on there and gives your feet a massage still some more clothes there seems to be clothes on every aisle really there's some shoes over here soccer shoes yeah soccer shoes but from my understanding a lot of this is actually secondhand but it appears to be new in a lot of ways but like where are you gonna get a cassette tape nowadays you just can't so yeah Oh, thread and yarn by the weapons. Yeah. All right, let's look around a bit more. Here's another gem, a power inverter. Like, from like, seriously, when was this made? Like, obviously it's got the Northern European plug, but like, is there a price on this thing? Yeah, 10 euros for this power inverter. Maybe it's still working really well, but there's like, weird wired stuff over here some yeah what the heck is this yeah some more like adapters 
baby monitoring thing. Yeah, a printer, a brother printer. Let's see how much this is, just because it's such a weird thing to have here. No, I can't tell. It's gotta have a price. Yeah, there it is, 45 euros. So, some cookbooks, a stroller, old style stroller. It's a BMW t-shirt, some more shoes. Yeah, those are like golf cleats or something like that. Some, yeah, beauty products over outside the beauty products section. And again, clothes, clothes, clothes. It just never ends. So needs to need to browse through the clothes a little more. Yeah, I've actually been down here. They all the aisles are starting to blend together. So yeah, take a look again at some of the clothes and be right back. Found myself some shorts, two euros fifty cents. But look what's on the other side of me. Some interesting mugs. It's like a gun mug, some brass knuckles mug, a vampire, a cat waving, a skull with gears coming out of its head, and some jump rope right below it. And up here, a Mr. Bean. And I wish this was a beer. Un unbelievable. <laughs> it's like kitchenware. Cutting boards. Cutting boards. More cutting boards. Oh, plastic cutting boards. Oh, other like cheese platter boards. Some graters, openers, you know, kitchen stuff. Some frying pans, knives. Four knives, 10 euros. Man, those are pretty good quality, actually. Yeah, and like any little kitchen knickknack knick you'd want. This is like an upscale dollar store, but you can't be sure that things are like brand new. Again, some odds and ends. There's a couple dogs here, right? Red wine dispenser. Stick the bag in there. 18.95. Yeah. Some plastic wine goblets. Yeah, how much are these? Let's find out. Doesn't say here. Oh, it says there. One euro fifty cents. Some more interesting stuff. Burlesque handbook. Eight euros. Tattoo book. Let's see how much that is. Oh, that's a pretty hefty book. Tattoos. Again, eight euros for that. Bunch of little pins and such. That's like, oh, that's for a necklace. Two euros fifty. Yeah. Some balloons, why not, right? That should be with the burlesque and the tattoo stuff. And again, some more shirts. But nothing for me really. Loading weekend vibes, right? Loading weekend vibes. Yeah, I can dig that, but I don't think I can wear that. Acrylic paint, five euros, a whole bunch of them. There's some more expensive ones, but over on this end, there's some interesting like skull shoes and then yeah, a camping fork, rubber boots. There's some trivia, finished trivia. Some thermal latex gloves. Some old style cast iron wrenches. And then some more DVDs and CDs. And a helicopter. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty much anything you can find goes. Found these jumbo flasks, 1.8 liter. I swear this is water. This one says, I don't get drunk, I get. I don't get drunk, I get awesome, it says. Okay, roulette drinking game, 9.95. So these are 12.95 for the flasks. It's like a drinking game section. 
<laughs> okay, after walking through that crazy store, I did end up with these shorts, two euros, 50 cents, new soccer shorts. Uh, yeah, really interesting place for sure. Like there's all these flowers outside here. Let's look at the facade. Combo. So this is the combo store here in Vasa. I suggest visiting, especially if you got some time to kill, lots to see, you'll find anything you need. Peace, take care.